All right, so after five hours of the last episode being posted, let me just go through real quick. And um, <laughs> there was a lot of comments from last episode. So, wow, there was so much. Um, from the gist of it, people were also confused, or not confused, but they were thinking of, well, what happened there at the end, right? I think I have an idea of what happened. Or, yeah, I think I have an idea of what happened. There's a lot of good theories and good, like, like ideas of what possibly did happen. Uh, but I do believe that, um, you know, I was going to go through the comments, but most of them are just about the same, and I can actually elaborate on them right now. Um, <clears throat> oh, hang on a sec. Let me see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, what like, like I was saying, I think I have an idea of what happened. So we did at the end of the episode kind of, like, get a little upset complained a bit and thought like, you know, what, you know, higher reputation for the stores, that would mean that we would get more profits a day. Well, there's a couple of factors that would kind of disregard that. Uh, some people suggest that, oh, well, maybe, you, you know, your marketer working that day, you know, if they have the day off, they won't be making that money. But I think I know and have an idea of what happened here. As you saw, we were fluctuating, fluctuating, fluctuating between different articles when we ended our day at this store we actually added two different articles and subtracted a few and a couple of other articles so i think what happened was we actually added articles that wouldn't technically make us more money compared to the other articles we had before therefore uh the profits a day went down slightly because they were probably cheaper and it is what it is i think that is what happened um i think we kind of overlooked that holy crap dude you got more more you got different articles in but they weren't as much as the other articles that were already previous there previously there so i think that's what happened we're gonna go to the store today so another thing that we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be adjusting the hours for the bargain bonanza i do believe in 8 a.m to a closing because i don't think you can do midnight i think the latest you can stay open is 10 p.m technically 2200 but I think we're going to be opening instead of at 11 a.m., maybe 8 a.m. The more opportunity we have to sell stuff, uh, build that reputation, I mean, the better, right? Another thing to talk about is a lot of people are, are looking at... Oh, my God, what have I done? Remove that, please. Another thing that people are looking at is... Um, what was I going to say? Uh, what the heck was I going to say, dude? Um... Man, I forgot. It speaks in my mind. I might I might remember it here in a sec as I'm talking. But uh, yeah, we're going to do 8 a.m. Sell more, right? Oh, I was going to say, people are kind of sitting there worrying also. They're like, eee. They're like, I don't know if you can get out of this, man. And, and some people are like, well, you might have to you might have to get a loan, right? You might have to get a loan and, um, and hope for the best and maybe shoot for the stars as far as opening up a liquor store or that you know not, not the a liquor store but the grocery store in this uh area because of how well it did there's a lot of weird stuff going on right now and i'm gonna try to hold out as much as i can on the loan i'm not disregarding the loan at all the loan could definitely become a possibility here going forward the only thing with the loan however though is how does it work right um so you have to be in the office right an office of a store for the um for the loan to, to take out a loan then i guess you can take that loan money transfer it out and stick it to the corporation however that store that you took out the loan for that store is going to be accounted for when it comes to uh like interest or like penalties and stuff like that so <clears throat> That's something to think about as well. So where would we take out the loan is another question to be had there. I guess I don't have a shirt to actually take over this uh, last rack here, but that's fine. Um, you know, worrying about people in their, in their, uh, in their, what is it? Their, their wages. That's something that we need to focus in on. Hopefully today will be a new day. Like technically guys, this is the first day. This is the first day that we are going to be experimenting with the higher reputation of t-shirts. So who knows? Today might be a good one. Um, and I'm kind of just like like dog dogging it right now. What I mean by dogging it? Like 
Like, I'm not even worried about it. Like, I guess I'm just not thinking about it, which I, I should probably be thinking about it. I should probably up his need a little bit more there, but that's okay. Yeah, so this is technically the first day we have higher reputation in, um, in shirt. So who knows? Maybe this is the turning point. Maybe it's not. You know, I, I, I've said that multiple times and multiple times in the last few episodes where I'm like, yes, this is the turning point. This is the turning point. I don't know. I was also su suggested that, uh, you know, pants. No, I, I got one suggestion. Someone said pants. Nobody else said anything else so far. Um, so maybe pants is, is the way to the way to go. Like maybe that's our next article is, is looking into pants. Get some Charlie Browns up there. Oh, let's help this gentleman. Hello. Oh, yeah. Another thing that was said is, and this was actually said, I think. No, this was said in, in the last episode. Another thing that was said was, hey, you know, sweatshirts, <laughs> sweatshirts and sweaters in July in the middle of summer. I, you know, maybe not a good idea. I 100% I agree with you, right? I don't know, though. I don't know if the AI is taking that in consideration. Like, logically, that would, that would make sense. Like, logically... You probably would have sweaters, um, sweatshirts on a sale rack from the previous winter, stuff like that. Um, you know, stuff like that and, and, and trying to get rid of that that line of product. But I don't know if that matters to them right now. Like there hasn't been a, um, a favorite, right? A, there's no favoritism when it comes to t-shirts or sweaters. I think they just grab what they want to grab. Honestly, this leather jacket though is not selling. So hopefully um, we can we can figure that out. So Jackson here is coming in. He's only going to be in for a few hours. Now the last four hours of us being open here, I am going to take a look and kind of keep an eye on, uh, see how much customers we really do have during this time. By while he is here, he's going on. He comes to work and goes straight on break. Oh my God! What did I do? How did I mess that up? Did I really mess that up? That scheduling? He comes here and immediately goes on break? Good God. Well, that's a waste. That that That's honestly a waste of money right there. Like, that's fully, that's fully a waste of money. That's terrible. Like, I'm almost, like, tempted to send his ass home for that. <laughs> I know it's not his fault, but my God. All right. That's okay. So he is technically helping someone out right now, so that's good. I'll keep an eye on how everything is. Uh, think something to keep in mind though is like if you are going to be doing this open um, this big hour open fluctuation of new opening at 8 a.m. and closing at 20 2200 we need to be conscious of the fact that yeah you should probably up your minimum storage a bit on a few items so that you don't run out tomorrow I hear you I hear you out I hear you loud and clear buddy so we're gonna do that right now we're gonna up a few things probably do some price adjustments here $38 for this uh, jacket Go ahead, help this lady out. What else do we need to kind of look at here? Possibly the block. Hi. Looks like we actually are selling one block, blocky thing. That's kind of good. We sold one. Yeah. Um. Let's see what she goes for. Possibly the Fallout shirt. Hey, can you help me? No, 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 not me. That's not my job. That's Jackson's job. My job is to bring these people into the store. Hello, how may I help you? Yo, Jackson got a level up. Good. Uh, I can't remember the last time he got a level up, but I'm glad to see that. Uh, he's going to have to go on course, so. Do we send him on course right away? I don't know, dude. I don't know if we send anybody on course right away. We need the money. We definitely need the money as much as, you know, as much as we can gather here. We're kind of playing with marbles. Like, we're trying to pick up all the marbles, right? And uh, put them all on our pouch and, and just keep stuffing them as much as we can, right? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. But it has to mean something for someone, right? Anyways, uh, how we're doing on sales today? Like, not not good. Not good. Like, you can definitely see there's a big um, there's a big difference when you don't have marketing in. I I'm really believing in in that right now. Uh, I feel like not having marketing in today. Oh damn it, dude! Not having marketing in today is is hurting hurting our sales, right? I feel it. I, I feel it. I mean, we're at $1,400. We're only at $1,400. We were averaging $1,500 or sorry, $2,000 there at one point. I mean, there's still a chance for us to, uh, you know, help. How do you not help that person? There's still a chance for us to, to get the $2,000 mark, but it's not coming as easy as it was. 
Another reason why to have the store open early in the morning is maybe those surprise visits, those surprise tourists, right? When you don't get an email, like I know like that's, it's not something that should happen in the game, but I believe it's something that does happen in the game as a, um, as a bug, maybe possibly like you don't know because you know, there it is what it is. So if we can have it open early, cause people say tourists come early too. There's a chance at least uh, people, tourists come early as well. So if we open early, we could have a ch get like get lucky and have a chance for some someone or a group of people show up for no apparent reason, right? That'd be kind of good. As you can see, though, during the evening time, it does get busier. It does get busier during the evening time, and I think I mentioned that a couple episodes ago. I'm like, you know what? It's pretty. It's getting pretty. Uh, getting pretty busy in the evening time, which is another reason why we should stay up until 2200. Honestly, I should not treat this as a grocery mart, right? I should treat it as its own entity. I mean, properly so. But um, I'm trying to think. Like, even grocery stores. Grocery stores don't necessarily close early, do they? I don't think they do. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this now. It doesn't matter now that, sh you know, we're closed. All right. So $1,800. Yeah, not a lot, dude. Not a lot. Probably could have saved some money there. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Yeah, so um, our adjustment is happening right now. Le Fashionable does have a sale of six articles today. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Le Fashionable. That's a good line, too. Six articles. Which articles are they? Fallout, Fallout, Fallout. God damn it, Charlie Brown. Um, okay, so they are the Charlie Brown ones. I'm not really jonesing about that very well. I'm not going to trim the threads here. Well, no, I'm not going to trim the threads. I'm going to order $550 worth of worth of articles here. Um, hope for the best as we go into this next um, next day. It's going to be a test. Like I'm going to test out like the waters here. Obviously, um, it, it is what it is. Now I kind of want to take off take off sales for today. You know what? What else? Uh, no, I'm I'm not going to put them on course. I'll take off sales for today, um, and then I'll have Jun Lee come in. Eventually, what day is it? Thursday. Thursday. We'll open at eight, and we'll close at twenty-two hundred. We'll try this out. And Jun Lee, mm, where do you get your most efficient marketing out of? Like in the early hours, or in the middle of the day, or at the end of the day? Might not matter. Let's bring him in this time. We'll do early, maybe get a you know a kickstart in the morning, and then it will finish itself out throughout the evening. We'll do that. We'll see what that does and what that uh, entails for us. Let's go ahead and look at this. Cassandra Hiller, thank you, Demonte, Christina, Umberto, Landon, and Tatiana. Any PhDs here? A college degree in cash control. Four years in a music shop. Sporting goods store, okay. Uh, summer management, and my own little uh, hardware store. So it seems like there's so many good applications coming in, and I already have a lot on deck here, and I can't even afford to to like use any of these people. So yeah, let's go to let's go to the next day and like get hit in the face real quick by our corporation. This is big. We need this. Store reputation is where we need to go. Absolutely. $6,800 now. Good God almighty. <laughs> Hold on tight because it is going to get bumpy. $582 here at that store. $773 here at this store. Profit expection did not, I don't think went up or did not go up at all. This is going down every single day that we are not there. Bad. Uh, yeah. Go to the store. Go to the store. If I have to, dude, I'm going to make a drastic, like, decision. And it's going to be drastic. So early in the morning. We haven't been here early in this morning in a very long time. But here we are at Bar... Uh, what is it? Bargain Bonanza? Uh, you know, I will take a, take a nice little screenshot there. Our man is here before opening, which is good. Oh, yeah. Another good thing that was brought up that I should actually take advantage of. Hey, why don't you... um. 
negotiate, renegotiate with your supplier. Hell, maybe even go back to your old supplier. That's very valid, very valid indeed. Because it is a lot of money to have this supplier or the parcel service that we have now. Very, very, very expensive. And that could really help us and get us out of a bind, really. Um, yeah, so I'm going to look into that if I can, if I remember correctly. But I'm going to definitely look into that in the parcel services after this day. I think that would help us tremendously, right? I mean, you got to think. We're spending like at least average $400, right, on parcel. So who knows? That might be our golden ticket, right? Charlie Bucket me, man. Charlie Bucket. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward time just a little bit as people start to come in. Jun Lee will be on marketing right now, so he should be attracting customers as we come through. Okay, I have a feeling that we might run out of clothes today, which is bad. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Well, it's not too bad because it's not like we're paying... Um, uh, what is it? Dude, really? Thank you. That was bad. It's not like we're paying... Um, workers all day today we're not we're not the black jackets still are not selling which is a very big concern of mine but we've already made two sales this morning we've already made two sales i feel like these people coming in had to do with a little bit of not morning time magic but maybe some marketing magic that's going on here so people are going in there's a good chance that we actually level up the sword today, too, which would be level 14. Like, look how many people just walked in on their own here. Not too bad. Not too bad, indeed. Four people? Four people at nine in the morning? Excuse me. Yes, how may I help you? Hey, a little help. Uh, we sell shirts, my man. If the perfect one shows up. I think today's going to be a big day. It's starting to feel like it. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, it is starting to feel like it. I, I know it's early on, but my God. But with, with this all being said, like I said, it's very, very, it's going to be very, very important that we have, um, that we have reputation for this store. And this is what we're doing. We're building on that right now. We're selling as much as we can. We might be bare at the end of the day. And I know that's going to make a lot of people upset. They're going to be like, you should have prepared more. But you have to also like realize like I'm in a bind here. I, I'm trying not to spend as much money, right? I need to have as much money available to me as possible, uh, whether that be my available balance at the store or um, just the corporation fee that, that the corporation gets. Like you got to also think about that as well. I know I have like I at the start of this day, I had like seven hundred dollars. If I would if I'm desperate, dude, I, I will take like five hundred dollars of that and stick it in the corporation. So yeah, you got to see a little bit of that madness also. That's why I don't want to go too big, too, too, too big on the uh, too large and hit it hard. Too large in charge, Marge, with the, uh, um, with the, with the adding of more clothing, right? I think you guys understand that. Send it. Yo, good. Thanks. I think marketing is a good call though. Marketing is a good call. I think sales right now, sales is, is a little pointless. Sales is a little pointless at the moment, right? So let's stick with what we have here. Let's stick with what we know is working. And that is marketing. I run the reputation outside. I run the sales and I run the register. All, all three jobs, right? This is definitely my time to show up. My time to shine. My time to fail. My time to prosper. It all depends, right? So far, so good. How much? Yeah, we had like seven hundred dollars, I think, at the beginning of this day. And you gotta also think like these items that we're doing here. They're not big ticket items. They are not big ticket items. They are, you know, there's a couple big ticket items, like two or two maybe, but that's it, dude. That's it. I do, I, I, I do believe that we are gonna be able to sell. Um. I, I, I think we're going to get a level up here. I do. I do. If we don't get a level up, I will be slightly upset. Let's go ahead and try to, like, influence that a little bit more. Like, with this, we'll do a, um, uh, like a 10% off right here on these sweaters. 10%. And those black sweaters with the bear on it, they were selling, dude. They were selling, like, hotcakes, and then they stopped. And, you know, the last one hasn't sold for a couple of days now. Yeah, marketing is doing some tremendous stuff right now. You can you can just see it. You can just see it. 
Okay. All right. This is good. All right. Hey, got a second. I think we have the right formula here. I, I, I do. I feel like we're on the right path. Funny games. That looks promising. Good to know. Let's do that. Do that. There we go. Don't whistle at me ever again, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. Thanks. Okay, good. By the way, in the last episode, I didn't me mention, like, the whole beta thing with the working zones. Someone commented saying that they uh, they did opt into that beta. Um, this was before I mentioned anything about it, though. They did end up opting into that beta. How the hell did I just click on that? What the hell? Um, and it did corrupt their save file as well. So they had to start all over again, which... Th that's what I'm talking about, man. I don't know why I just... I did that horrible. But... There is horror story about it. Eighteen dollars was that worth it, dude? Again, this is this is not selling. Like I, I'm almost tempted to just push it out. Like, just go. I don't care. Send it off. Like, get out of here. Let's bring something else in. We're gonna need to figure out. Um, we're gonna need to bring in more, and and maybe we'll just bring variations of other things. Uh, variations of the Cali sweater variations of possibly the fallout shirt um yeah the cali sweater is already gone that thing sells so good it's already gone man the blocky shirt is starting to sell a little bit here freedom shirt going he's looking at the sale rack there doesn't pick anything up unfortunately can't help that farmer I'm trying to see i'm trying to see yo okay so leather jacket she she picked up leather jacket okay good she picked up blue sweater, also good. I know it's weird. It's like, look, I have this for regular the price, this on sale. It doesn't make sense, but it, it, we're working that way right now. I will adjust that slightly here. We'll do this. We'll just take it off. Go like this, and we'll go um, edit, and we'll go pack that. So I, technically, I need like two more things. I need more than two more things eventually, but. Yeah, we're, we're, we're working with what we got here. Hello, sweetheart. Do this. Imoni Barksdale. That's a hell of a name. I've never heard of the name Imoni. There we go. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, got another person there. I'm, I'm grinding. This is actually grinding. <laughs> like, there, there was a time a couple weeks ago we were, like, running smooth, running on autopilot. But no, dude, I'm, I'm grinding it right now. Who would have thought opening a clothing store would have been one of the hardest things we've done in this game? Thank you. I never thought that it would have failed like this. But to be fair, though, to be fair, though, like, I did kind of get screwed up hey. by the game in a way. Like, I, I, I do believe that. I believe that, Hey, a little help. unfortunately, some circumstances, um, especially, like, the gray area with the simulation of not being properly, um explained i guess in a way uh did screw me up it was a test though I, I tested it out and i you know i reap what i sow but i learned to never do that again thanks okay it's getting a little bit busier here it is the evening time 1600 we will hit two thousand dollars today we will hit two thousand dollars which is good i, I feel like two thousand dollars is a good average that we should hit every single day at least so we are going to hit that Dun, 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 dun. Add that. There we go. Add anything there. Add anything there. Add anything here. Fix this. Hey, have a minute. Fix this. Like, uh, remove that. There we go. And do that. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. The accountant. How may I help you? Do this. Yep. Remove there. Hi. Spare two seconds. Just make her happy. <laughs> Just make her happy, dude. Yo, okay. You actually want to buy this bad boy? Okay. We'll do that. Get your need up. I would really like you to... I hit the wrong Thank button you. there. I'll be honest. I really need you to pick that one up. I really do. And you don't. That sucks, dude. All right. That's all right. Add that. Hello. How are you? Add that. Add that. That. Yeah, I, I I think bringing in variations of different uh different of of our articles might be the spot to do. Those Cali sweaters, I need to get more in. They're just off. They're just gone. They're always gone. My God.
Hey, got a second? Nobody has a second for your green ass. I have a second. What's up? <laughs> okay, so now those leather jackets are, you know, they are selling there. There we go. They are selling a little bit. Thanks. Dude, nothing. This I, I might have to increase this discount. I, I really want to push those. Oh, you bought the leather jacket. Please buy something off here, too. Get the last black one. You're a genius. Good job. <laughs> Good job, dude. All right. That's what I wanted right there. All right. We'll do this. How much? $84. Okay, so now let's go here. And let's add the rest of these blue sweaters. Oh, dude, the Miami Dolphins, dude. They're not up. And they are the banging. They're the bangers, dude. Oh, my God. Put them up. Put them up. Put them up. Put them up. How are these not up? God damn it. I tend to do that a lot. Forget things in the in the back room. Look, I forget the oregano at the other grocery store. Hopefully, they can buy or they want to buy the Miami Dolphins here. Damn it. That thing could have been selling all day today, too. Good Lord. That's a disappointment. $108, though. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, all right. Purple shirt. Good. I'd rather you sell that one. Get the Miami Dolphin while you're at it. Get the Miami Dolphin. Okay, nope. $2,300. Possibly $2,500 day today. We still have uh, still have a couple hours left in the store here. Jun Lee bounced, dude. He bounced so fast. Like, I didn't even see him walk out the front door. There we go. We'll do that. Desperate need of that. This is this is prime target right here. Celebrity in desperate need of clothing. We need every. Oh wait, this is not the celebrity. Thought we were talking to the celebrity there for a sec. Thank you. Maybe because he was just standing in front of it. Okay, evening time. Couple hours before we close, and as you can see, foot traffic is increasing even more here. A little help. I do want to get to that celebrity. Let's get to him. Get to him. Get to him. Get to him. Hello. Uh, recommend this. I recommend this. Maybe I don't know. We'll do that. Maybe I, I'll, I'll take a maybe. I'll take a maybe over a. Thank you. I hate it. I was gonna say I think I'll take a maybe over a serious convincing. Cali sweaters, multiple variations of Cali sweaters. Honestly, push this now. Just push it. Push it as much as you can. Twenty percent off, ladies and gentlemen. Twenty percent off. Good God. Twenty percent off. How much are we selling these for? $27? Yeah, 20% off, dude. And we got those, like, cheap, because we got those on sale when they did that sale for that one time. <laughs> Miami Dolphin shirt did sell at, you know, towards this end evening here, which is good. 30 minutes left. Anybody else want to come in? Anybody else? Come on, just go in. Anybody? Go in, go in, go in. Go in, go in, go in. Oh, my God. Just send him. Just send him. He's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. The store's going to close. Thanks. Yes. I got it. I got it. No. No. Okay. Whatever, dude. 20% off. Come on. Give me something. Give me something. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. $2,600. I think this is the best day we've ever had, money-wise. Uh, but we worked for it. It was a long day. We definitely worked for it. All right. Let's go into the next one here. Wages are where they're at. Honestly, I think the wages were worth it because I think marketing really helped us out there. Okay. Good. 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 Um, look, day off, day off. All of the days are 8 to 2200 until further notice. 8 to 2200 until recession is over. Until we can afford to not be open that late. <laughs> right? And, well, I guess, yeah, I guess until we can afford to be open, you know, whenever we want. There we go. That's the new schedule. So, my man Jun Lee, look. Oh, that's not Jun Lee. My man Jun Lee. Uh, yeah, we'll do 1100, please. This is good. This is good. I like this. I like this schedule here. And then we'll go. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like how this worked out. This worked out pretty good. Make sure the breaks are consistent, at least. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. All right. That's looking good. Wow. Did you see the corporation fee on there? It was $1,100. Holy crap. Um, minimum storage. Add that. All these is what I want for the most part. Except for that. We're going to trim the threads here. Trim the threads. 
We're also going to bring in a new article. We're going to bring in a variation of the Cali sweater. A gray variation. And we're actually going to bring in as much as we're bringing in for the, the original, which is nine. Nine Cali sweaters. This is going to this is gonna hit, dude. It's going to freaking hit. Um, trim the thread here. Trim not the thread there. The Miami Dolphin, dude, they, they sell so good. Maybe I get a variation of the Miami Miami Dolphin. Maybe I throw in like a, I don't know. I don't know. Like purple, <laughs> uh, purple team. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what? F it. We bring in a variation of that and we bring five. That's all we bring is five. 52 articles. Send it off. How much money? $1,500 we have here. How much are we giving to the corporation? 600 Even with that big, big spend expenditure we just did, we still doubled our corporation fee there. So that's great. I think we're, I mean, advertising? No. <laughs> let's not get ahead of our, oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed for our store to level up. You son of a gun. However, this is looking healthy. That looked healthy. That looked like it barely moved. Let's go to the city. Go into the city. Now, you might be asking, why are you going to the city? I'll tell you here. I'm going to the city because I want to see if I can renegotiate with my parcel service. I want to see where our, where our cash flow is at right now. Is that a consistent 388? Did that go up? No, I think it went down. Corporate manager here can actually get an upgrade. Corporate manager, what are you going to do first? Reduce the wage requirements of your managers or reduce the time needed for managers to feel familiar with the role? There you go. Spend it on that. That's going to help us immediately. Now, going upstairs, 21st floor, menswear. 21st floor, menswear. Anybody here that needs to get bumped up? Nobody here that needs to get bumped up. All right. Let's walk into the grocery store. <laughs> I just bit my jaw. Walk into the grocery store here. Let's do transfer funds, $800. No. This is going to be crazy. 90%. 90 freaking percent is going to the corporation. 90%. It's insane, right? It's absolutely insane. But we're doing it now. Does that affect cash flow? Instantly or maybe the next day. Holy crap. It actually affected it instantly Negative 285 negative 285 now. Let's talk to our parcel service here. Hello uh, Tell me more about the look for a new carrier show my current deal. Oh shit daily cost 603 Oh my god This could be big. This could be extremely big 7% is what we have. Let's renegotiate that 7%. You're at 16% to start off. You're an asshole. Um, his patience is high. He's nervous. Anything below 7% will help us. He's nervous. Okay, his patience is high. He's angry. Okay, so we could step away right here for 1% less, or we can test our luck and try to go the confident route. Look, I know what you're probably saying. You're probably saying, take the contract. But I feel like this is an important moment, and I'm going to hit confident. Worst case scenario here. Worst case scenario. It doesn't happen. He walks away. I lose 1%. Best case scenario, it works. I get 1% off, possibly 2%. So let's do it. Oh my God. Take the 5%. All right, so renegotiate it to 5%. Now, how is that going to affect our daily cost? Your contract has been renewed. Okay, so that officially means we can't decrease our parcel service until 14 days after, which means if we needed to get a new courier, it ain't going to freaking happen. What the hell are you talking about? 
Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> Did this affect cash flow any freaking way? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. But I think 242 minus 242 is, is very good. It's very good for our situation here. So what we're going to do is we're going to end off the day at the grocery store. We need to go to the grocery store. We need to add the multiplier there. Um, and we need to fix out what's ever going on here, right? So let's end out our day here. And who knows? The other store, right? The clothing store could level up on its own when we are when we are away. Now I am slightly uh, nervous for today because I have no idea, absolutely no idea who's coming in today, how many people are coming in today. Hell, I could send people home today, save us money and wages, bring our profits up even higher. By the way, don't forget the oregano. Thank you, thank you. Let's go and do this, fast forward this, Bam. Raven is coming in, but I don't know what she's coming in for. She's coming in as a sales. Oh, dude, I remember. People have days off here. People have a lot of days off here. There's like three or four people that have days off. Nobody's working the register today. I'm the only one on the register. Unless I pivot Raven to do register, which I might do. Okay, I understand now. Okay, so far no whistle. That's kind of concerning. <laughs> Let's do this and put some oregano. Thank you so much. Bam. Hey. Send it. Okay, now I think I need to possibly adjust the price of the oregano. 24, 24, no, I guess I don't. All right, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Let's just re-add everything now. We, we will restock and do register. Raven's mood is dwindling. It's almost gone already almost gone that sucks you know what don't take a break send her home send her home i'm not even gonna worry about the mood if we tried to, to babysit it right if we try to babysit her mood take a break oh you know do this and that we're still paying her if we just nip it in the butt send her home boom we don't have to pay her anymore she's done working for the day it's more money in our pockets more money for the corporation potentially so i'm okay with that does that mean anybody's going to get helped on in the sales department? Probably not. Uh, but let's be honest. Like, how many people raise their hand? Do you, do you do you go to the grocery store and be like, hey, somebody needs to help me with this freaking cabbage? No. Do you go to the grocery store and you're like raising your hand like, teacher, teacher, help me with the box of chocolate cake mix? No. You don't. <laughs> so don't even play around with me with this whole like salesperson in a grocery store. Hey, I need help. What do you need help with? Should I buy this salad? I don't know, dude. Do you need a salad? You see where I'm coming from, right? All right, let's keep on restocking what we can. Hi. Restock there. Is there two seconds. No, you don't need help. You know what Corona is. You already know. I've seen you in here before. I've seen you buy the same bottle. You don't need help. I promise you. You don't need help. The only people that need help in this store are people that need to be rang out. Hi. Spare two seconds. No. Ranch is ranch. You're familiar with that too. Now, I don't think in uh, Europe, maybe, maybe not. I might be uh, speaking ignorant, ignorantly or, yeah, ignorantly. But I don't know if um, if you guys have Hidden Valley Ranch. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys do have Hidden Valley Ranch. You guys might have a ranch, but not Hidden Valley Ranch. And that stuff hits different. Which is what those bottles look like. They look like Hidden Valley Ranch bottles. Alright, anyways. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Bring in the money. Bring in all this money. There we go. I'm not used to seeing the low numbers now. I see the low numbers here at the grocery store. I'm like, oh, you guys aren't doing anything, right? Uh, after seeing, like, averaging out, like, $100 per celebrity at the at the clothing store, right? Everything seems to be in stock. Let's go ahead and just register out here. Fast forward time as, 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 as quickly as we can. Like, so many people. So many people with questions. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not stepping away from the register. I know you guys are going to be PO'd, but you guys are going to buy something in the end. Especially you, celebrity. You almost spent $80 and I didn't even answer a question about freaking spices. 
two seconds. You already know what salt and pepper is. So far, so good. Yeah, so right now, what we're doing is we're just putting ourselves uh, into the store, giving the people possibly the mood increase, giving the people the optimism, giving the people um, the multiplier, and putting money in our pockets right now. That That's what we're doing at the current moment. Also bringing in the reputation, too. Getting the nice, nice level up reputation. Yo, Anna Marie? Anna Marie's here? I didn't even notice Anna Marie's here. She's pissed. Uh, go home, Anna Marie. Send off. Hey. She did get a level up, though. Why are people so angry, dude? Hey, have a minute. I mean, I, I don't know. People are like, maybe they're, you know, upset because you don't visit the store often. But, I mean, good God. What if I had, like, five stores? Are they going to be pissed off all the time? Or is this more of a thing where it's like their perks are just shitty? Maybe they're like, we can't work. Maybe everybody I hired was a part-timer. $2,500 in our pockets. That's okay. Let's go ahead and end the day there. Not bad on wages. I tell you what. $2,200 back to the store with us. I'll take it for sure. All right. We'll get a message. What's the message? Watch. is going to be like, unread five emails? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Okay. Bernard feeling sick. Missing a course. Janelle. My salary. Shut up, Bernard. And tractor, ooh, tractor pulling. So this is going to be for the farmers, right? We do have any event for the farmers, which is spicy enough. And Tasty Dreams has a sale going on. All right, Bernard, Bernard, you know we're in a recession. Can you, like, wait on the salary increase here, bud? Let's go and talk to Anna Marie here. Anna Marie did get that. She is efficient. She is done with marketing. Um, so the next thing for her, she would do sales and restocking, and then that's that's pretty much it. And then um, you got her possibly as a uh, cover up for Stevie here uh, when Stevie possibly goes to the uh, you know the daily manager or not daily manager the HQ manager. And I'm only going to be sending an HQ manager one when we're stable, and two whoever has lower wages. And I don't know if Anna Marie does. She doesn't. She uh, she demands higher, so she will never ever be an hq manager i'll tell you that right now okay so let's go ahead and adjust this a little bit here um day off everybody's mood is fine register sales restocking everything in the later hours i will deal with bernard how am i supposed to give you a freaking raise when you're sick let's talk to him Luckily, he is lower requirement wages here. So let's see here. $18 is how much he was getting paid. $21.35. Not the best salary, but it's okay. All right, good. So there you go. $30 or $25 there. $2,600 there. Honestly, like what we could do here too. And you've seen the store already. See this? Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. That will help our corporation out. Look at this. Wait a sec. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Do you see what I'm seeing, dude? You see it, right? Negative $700 at the store. 90% profits. This is how I'm going to combat it. How are you going to combat it? Look, I'll tell you. Minimum storage, we're not skipping it. <laughs> not skipping it. Add it. Add it, buy it, send it. We'll see what happens here. $1,600. What are you going to do now, corporation? You son of a bitch. You're going to take even more. All right, so we are going to go into the negatives on the grocery store. And this is this is, this is is huge, right? But I, it's going to be okay. I'll put money into the grocery store immediately right now. All right. Here we go. Yep. Where did this 6,000 come from? So weird, dude. Level up, please, at least. No? All right. However, our clothing store did level up, so that's very, very good. Concept point. There you go. Thank you so much. Head to the freaking city, dude. I know our corporation fee went up, but I mean, at what cost? The grocery store is getting rammed in the tailpipe. $1,700, though. That's actually really good. So, yeah, we'll go. Oh, my God. No, you ass.
I actually wanted to go to the HQ. That didn't happen. Everybody, go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Nobody is working today. I'm the only one working today. This is a freaking disaster. Oh my god. <sighs> that was just error. That was just mechanical error. Very much mechanical error. I, I can't explain that anymore to you. Oh my god, more people are coming in. Go home. Go home. Everybody's going home today. Nobody's working today. I am the only person working today. You could argue 90% off was a son of a bitch. Or 90% 90, uh, 90 corporation fee was a son of a bitch. Yeah, I agree. Um, but right now, don't at me. I think it will be okay. I think we will be able to take the money over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this entire day. Or I'm going to cut this day. You will see us when we get back to... Um, the end screen here. Because uh, honestly, what's going to happen is just me fast forwarding this entire day. Hopefully get enough sales to cover everything. All right. So I'll see you when we are at the end. All right. So as we come to the end of the day here, we have made technically. Well, we have made more than this, but we've we've hit fourteen hundred dollars in the positive region. We made like twenty one hundred dollars today, which is good, which is more than expected anyways. I totally forgot that we had the farmer segment come in. So the farmer segment that came in actually helped out quite a bit. So good news on that. Um, I'm terrified. I'm actually terrified of what's going to happen next. So Jesus Christ, be with me. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough, dude. It's going to be very tough. And the game might fold. Not fold, but the game might tie me into a situation where I have... Look at the freaking... Look at that, dude. Look at that. Incredible. Incredible. Um, the the game might tie my hands right now and force me into a loan. Might. We're going to find out together. Okay, red. Red. 610 expected funds. Okay. Um... So we're, little, we're in a little bit of a predicament, right? We're in a little bit of a predicament. You can see, right? Holy crap. Email. Dude, they have tourists coming. What tourists are coming? Hipsters. Okay, so that's good to know. <sighs> so... I don't know how it happens and I really I really am trying to keep my composure here. I honestly don't know what the limit is, right? It's like if I go to the next day and I get that second warning of your stores in financial loss, does that mean boom, game over? I don't know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save. I'm going to save right now. And there's, there's two ways this could happen. One way, we go into the next day, bad news happens. We lose the store. Second, second option, we go into the next day. Well, we know what happens over here, right? We lose the store. We reload, we come back over here, and we grab a loan out of here, right? We grab a loan for this store. Again, I don't know this mechanic. I don't know how this works. And I hate to reload, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't know if it auto saves if you go into the next day. Here we go. Okay. Level up. No level up. Okay, so far so good. Go to city. Store is still there. Go to HQ. Great. Go, like honestly, take the 90% away. Take it away. It was doing fine at 85%.
Leave it there. Transfer funds immediately. Transfer. Deposit $700. Boom. Corporation, $6,500. Now, how do we handle the this store up here, right? We haven't been to the store yet to test out the 90%. We're backing it down. We're backing it down to 85%. We're not even going to mess around with 90% right now. Might have been too bad. It probably delayed us. It probably delayed us progress going forward. But holy crap. Um, I know like option B here. And this, this is option B. Option B is give the whip, fire the HQ employees. That's option B. Absolutely. You know what? Let's take a look here. What do we have working here? We have adds a bonus to your optimism. Don't need it. Increases the effect of your daily manager. Kind of need that. Reduces the wage requirements of your staff. Kind of need that. Reduces the negative effect of you not visiting the store for a while. Kind of need that. Marketing manager. I think this is important. You already know. I think that's important. We're holding on. We are holding on at the moment. Now. If I talk to my parcel service, does it show the correct no nomination here or, you know, my deal? Still says negotiated price was 0%. I don't know what the hell happened there. It, we, we did it at 5%, but I guess not. Uh, which, I guess, oh my god, the cash flow has now increased to $342, which is fine. Because that's because we, we took the 90% away, right? We took the 90% away, and it is what it is. So let's step out. We did get a, the store over here did get a reputation increase, which is good, which means now we are starting to see an expected profit even more over here. Honestly, we could have took $700 out of the store, transferred it over to, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm taking the $700 I put into the grocery store. I'm going to put that $700 and put it back into the corporation. Transfer funds. Withdraw $700. Yeah. So now the corporation is back at even, right? We've replaced it. The store. The, now look. How funny is this? Now the clothing store is bailing out the grocery store. Holy crap, dude. This is a freaking mess. I tell you what. This is a freaking mess. <sighs> but I guess we're doing okay for now. Save the game. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to say. We're holding on for dear life. We're like the kitty. We're like the cat on the, on the freaking line where he's like, hang in there. Meme. That's where we're at. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Do take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to. I